Now, I didn't just bring it to show you, and I know everybody's probably sleeping, but I decided to take the first step, and instead of waiting for Mashiach to come and blow the shofar and all that, I decided that we should do it for ourselves, especially because so many of you won't be able to do this or go to a synagogue, a shul, and do it for yourself. There's a lot of horns going on around me. Jerusalem is bustling. But this is one of my favorite spots outside of the fields of Ruth and Boaz overlooking Bethlehem. Right up in those hills yonder, the spinal column of our land. This is Jerusalem, but it's not the rebuilt Jerusalem. It's the Jerusalem that has been waiting for us in the dust for 2,000 years and we've returned. And we're building new Jerusalem. And old Jerusalem are joining together. I'm Yisrael Chai. When you hear the shofar blast over this Rosh Hashanah, don't just think have a happy, sweet new year and eat apples and honey. It's more. And I know it's uncomfortable to say, but you have to crown God as king, as the one king, which means effort and work on our part. And that's where most people tend to throw off the yoke and want to fail. Because as soon as they accept it and understand it and see it, then they have to follow it. And once they have to follow it, they have to get off their butts and stop being lazy and accept the yoke of Hashem, accept the job that we were put on this planet to do. I'm Yisrael Chai. I hope this works. This is my second day in my life with a shofar. alarm wake up wake up take heed let me get some water and I'm gonna get back at it hey there's people watching that's awesome I'm so happy people are here even though it's early for a lot of you I can't stay for long because the entire country's about to shut down and if I don't get home I don't know, maybe they'll lock me in Corona prison or something. Let's try that again. Take two. There's so many horns going on around me. that shofar and sound that siren that's been sounding for the ages from every generation from every country from every border from every nation and now the world trembles when they hear it not only Jews but those that stand with us in unity their knees tremble when they hear that sound because we all know that that a great sounding shofar will sound on the day of our freedom of the day of our redemption but we can all start with our own personal redemption right now. Tonight is Shabbat Rosh Hashanah. Wow, what a double whammy. What a time to truly just suck it up. Drop the ego and do what we're here to do. I'm going to work on myself. I'm going to make sure my Shabbat Rosh Hashanah table is as beautiful as possible. Everything counts. Our thoughts, our feelings, and our deeds. I mean that. Much love from beautiful Israel. Absolutely magnificent. God, I wish you were all here. All here. All of you. You deserve it.
and you will be. And we're gonna take the stones that have been hidden underneath these streets and we're going to use it to lay the cornerstone for the foundation of our new home, a home that represents God's oneness and unity. And the only way we're gonna get there, the only way whatsoever, I promise you that, is by reflecting it ourselves. There is no other way. To many people, this is just a ram's horn. To many people, that's just a sound. To many people, this is just a city. To many people, these are just stones and grass. But to those that have eyes that see straight to their hearts and souls, we know, we know. And all we have to do is package that up, bundle it up into a huge package of light and send it out to all those around us in a way of glory. Much love, Shana Tova from Yerushalayim, Ir HaKodesh. May you all find your fulfillment in 5781. And I'm pretty certain that we are just steps away from redemption. Mark that on your calendar.